The user only has a lot in uh, nine of my shooting, except one. That is visible. Yeah, that's one. Oh, that's the Pentagon. And you see distortion. Yeah. Yeah, that is that wow. is normal. Huh. this montage for just a second. This is Future Ted here, and I need to give you some context around what you're about to see. So the main reason I went to Los Angeles was to do some networking at a show called Classic Photographs LA. Now Classic Photographs LA is a show that's put on by a group of art dealers and gallery owners, and they are selling vintage photographs. Now this is open to the public. It's an entire $10 to get in. And what they're doing is they're selling these photographs to other collectors, to museums, people like that. So the prices on these get very high, but the work that you're going to see in here is just stunning. There are prints in this show from Henri Cartier-Bresson, W. Eugene Smith, uh, Saul Leiter, there was a Sugimoto piece, William Eggleston, August Sander, I mean just the, the, the best of the best and some very famous images um, that are displayed here. And so that's one of the reasons I went. So you're going to see some of those images. Now the second thing that was very cool is I got to meet at Classic Photographs LA, probably one of my favorite photographers of all time. It's a person I've talked about on the show before. His name is Alexei Tedorenko, and he is a fabulous Russian photographer who's probably best known for a series of images that he did in the early 90s that showcase, it was during the fall of the, the Soviet Union and the government changeover at that point. There was an immense amount of poverty that was going on, gang violence, and the, the only means of public transportation that was open at that time was the train system. And so Alexei would stand before the steps that led up to the train platform and he would just open the lens and do these long exposures and you see these people coming in by the thousands. And what the result is, is it's just this billowing black smoke of a crowd and then you get little glimpses of details, mainly with hands being placed on the banister going up the stairs where they would sit for a second and then become part of the exposure. Alexei is a fabulous photographer. I have always admired his work and it was a complete honor to get to meet him. Now, I did get to do a little bit of an interview with him, and I'm going to apologize for this now. And as you saw in the last video, I have got some audio things I need to work out on my travel setup. I was essentially filming this with a point and shoot. And to make it worse, Alexi is kind of a quiet talker. And by the time we were doing this interview, there was a large crowd in the room. So I'm only going to give you a little edit of this. I am working on trying to get Alexi to do something with the show. We got along very well. He was a really nice person and he was very enthusiastic about the stuff that I'm doing here. And so that's something I'm working on. So hopefully I can have him back soon. So anyway, I apologize in advance for the sound quality on this. I will put subtitles on it so you can understand what he's saying. But uh, anyway, so this is Classic Photographs LA.
Okay. Well, this one, I took it before that one, but when I developed, it was very, the negative was very dark. There is a set of small details that are speaking more that uh, I and felt. There is this drop package shop, unfiltered I, cigarette. I noticed it the cigarette box, yeah. The cheapest that existed. Uh, there is uh, these shoes, very cheap shoes, uh, that homeless people have in the United States. Um, there is hand on the very well uh, actually articulated hand on the rail of the entrance of the subway station. But speaking, if you, this dramatic effect of this, it was the shadows from the underworld in a, some kind of Greek tragedy. Also, the background have the newspaper kiosk, which is uh, which has the inscription uh, "Press of Soviet Union." So you can really <coughs> read it differently because you have this very concrete description that is in Soviet Union, and that uh, this is a kiosk of the uh, Soviet Union newspapers. Well. Everything, also in the background, you see an open door. In the Soviet Union, as you know, uh, the door to the building weren't actually closed. It didn't have the locks, so anybody could uh, step in into the building, which is a very important detail because of the Russia today, the crime is widespread, and uh, all the entrances in the building are closed. The news only has a lot in uh, any of my shooting, except one, and it's visible. Yeah, this one. Oh, that's a you see distortion. Yeah. yeah. That is, that wow. is normal.